I will be doing a full review of the BMW K1600. Well, good morning everybody. It's Saturday morning here in Carrollton, Texas. And it is a actually a really beautiful Saturday morning. I'm just getting ready to head home. Just had coffee here at Einstein's. Got a little work done. And I've got a lot of stuff to talk about in today's motor vlog. It's been a few days since I've done one. I tried to do one yesterday, but uh, things got a little messed up. I have got a road trip to tell you about. Make sure you hang around to the end of the motor vlog to hear all the details about that. Pretty exciting stuff. And if you're new to the channel, I'll tell you what I always tell you. If you're passionate about motorcycles, it doesn't really matter what you ride. But if you're passionate about motorcycles, uh, take a second to click that little subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. So I am heading home and I just had uh, coffee. I met a couple for coffee that uh, actually purchased the Acaso camera that uh, I was selling. I uh, just had an extra camera, didn't really need it, so um, he got a really good deal. Nice camera. I think he'll enjoy it. They're going to use it on their jet skis. But the first thing I want to tell you about this morning, a couple of things important. Um, I did finish, I got the ceramic coating done on my 2018 Goldwing. I should have that video coming out uh, in just a day or two. So you don't want to miss that. That's the final video in my ceramic coating series that I've been doing. Looks like we're going to be a windy day again today. So that's coming. I also had an email from one of my uh, subscribers that I wanted to ask your help on. He has a situation, his name is Victor, and his, uh, I, I think he has a 2019 or 2020, I'm not sure what year model he has, but he has a situation where at 70 miles an hour, the needle on his speedometer starts jumping around. It kind of bounces around between 70 and 73 miles an hour. It just kind of jitters. It only does it at that speed. It doesn't do it at the lower speeds. And he was asking me what I thought the problem was. And of course, his first thought, as was mine, was maybe something wrong with the speed sensor. But if any of you out there have had this experience where you have that speedometer needle kind of jumping around at a certain speed let me know in the comments down below and maybe we can come up with an answer for him so the big news is that Tuesday I am going to be flying out to California where I will or I have been invited by BMW Motorrad USA to preview their new K1600 lineup of motorcycles. And I know several of you have asked me about uh, the K1600 and how I feel like it compares to the Goldwing and I've never ridden a K1600. I've only ridden one BMW in my life and that was down in Brazil years ago, many years ago. And I've reached out to BMW and they uh, responded very uh, positively and and basically I'm going to be riding a K1600 I don't know which model yet I did ask for the GTL but I don't know they only have so many available but uh, I will be riding one back from California to the Dallas Fort Worth area and uh, it's gonna take about four days to get back 
and I will uh, I will be motor vlogging every day during that trip so I will have an extended period of time to experience this model and at the end of this trip I will be doing a full review of the BMW K1600 so I would invite you to follow along on my journey this moto vlog from California to Texas I'll be going through Phoenix Arizona the first day and then I'll be staying in New Mexico and so uh, and I will actually be stopping to visit my brother for one day uh, because it's kind of on the way back also so I have also reached out to some other companies about testing and reviewing their motorcycles uh, I did get a positive response from Indian but nothing definite yet I was hoping to be able to uh, do a review of one of the new Indian models but we'll just have to see how that works out so if any of you are interested in knowing what a Goldwing guy like me thinks of the BMW K1600 well you're going to find out before too long. So I don't know about where you live, but I know here the wind has just been unbelievable. So, and it's going to be windy again today, apparently. This is the, definitely the windiest year I can ever remember. I mentioned earlier that I finished the ceramic coating uh, on the motorcycle and actually applying the ceramic coating was the easiest part of the entire process uh, that armor shield 9 from Avalon King is very very easy to apply it's very forgiving and I uh, should have like I said I should have my ceramic coat video out uh, hopefully I'm gonna go home and do some editing on it today I've still got to do a little bit of studio work but I'll uh, hopefully have that out in the next day or so one thing I'm very curious about on this road trip coming back from California is the price of gasoline along the way. I will be reporting, every time I fill up with gas, I'm going to report it. And I believe that this BMW requires premium fuel. I don't think the BMW engine is as forgiving as the Goldwing engine. So uh, whatever they recommend, I will be using, obviously. And I will be reporting every time I fill up along the way back uh, through Arizona, New Mexico, and of course Texas. And I, uh, so if you're curious about that, about the current gasoline prices, which are uh, pretty much obscene right now, ours just went up about 40 cents a gallon in the last few days. I think here locally in Carrollton, we're up to about 4.69 a gallon for regular. That's for 87 octane. So what are the gas prices in your area right now? Are they going up? I know that they're uh, going up nationwide and it doesn't look like there's any end in sight, which is pretty sad. But, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is where we are in 2022. Yeah, 469, I'm seeing it right there at Quick Trip. So it'll be interesting to see what the total cost is coming back from California to Texas, what I totally spend on gasoline and what kind of mileage I get because I will be tracking the mileage on that BMW. So we'll have a chance. I usually use, uh, I think I, I think it's called Fuely is the uh, app that I use. And I track my, uh, every time I fill up, I keep track of it. So I know what, you know, how much mileage I'm getting. Now, I'm sure there's an onboard computer, but, uh, you know, I don't know if I trust those onboard computers. Now, you might notice something a little different on my helmet. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a new communicator on my helmet, and it is a new product uh, coming out from Senna that I am in the process of testing and I will be reviewing it. I'm not going to talk about it yet because it's not available for purchase yet. 
but I have already done an unboxing uh, video. I haven't put it out yet, but because they've asked me to wait until they get their production. I don't know what's going on with production on products because I was supposed to have the new Cardo uh, communicators in two weeks ago for evaluation, and I still don't have them in. I keep getting emails saying that they're on their way, but I, 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 nothing's showing up yet. So I'm not sure about that. We did have a little bit of rain here the last couple of days, and it's uh, going to green everything up nicely, which we needed. We needed the rain. So if you enjoyed this video, please take a second to click that like button. And uh, thanks again for joining me. I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.